Okay, so this is the last project, uh, project number four, uh, creating a web page with Expression Web, and then we're also connecting a database to it. So what the database is doing is it's it's hosting information within that that database. So the the web page is connected to it, and so when the user um, it goes to specific parts of the web page, the data that's in that database will be displayed to the user. So first we're going to go and we're going to choose a new site. We're going to use a template. We can choose any one of these. I like using organization number five. I kind of think it's the easiest one to use. Make sure you know where this uh, location is. Since this is my computer, I'm choosing uh, the C drive, but you might want to choose the H drive. Um, it's usually best not to start off um, your project in your Z drive or your Instruct account. Later on, when you finish the, the, the project, then you should go and then you should, should um, copy and paste this into your Z drive. But don't start it with the Z drive. Okay, I'm just going to keep it here as um, my site 3. We can name, we, we should change this though later on. Okay, so let's take a look at the master template. Um, okay, uh, so I'm going to my, my business is a, a business that sells junk. And um, I'm going to come up with some cheesy slogan. Great prices, even greater junk. Cheesy! Okay, so I'm going to save this. I'll look at the default page information is at the top. Notice you can't um, select the left and the bottom. Okay, so let's go back to the master page um, and we can we can change change some of this. Um, we're probably not going to want to use the junk or the news. Um, we'll probably delete that in a little bit. Uh, let's just keep it there for right now. It's not hurting us. I'm going to change this photo gallery and instead I'm going to make this best sellers and then here at the bottom photo gallery it's also going to be called best sellers okay and you know also notice oops also notice here that the link it's still linking to this photo gallery so we need to change the description of that also because this was um, photo gallery it should probably be called um, bestseller. Let's get this more descriptive. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to rename this. This is just the directory where it's located. So notice one of the nice things is that uh, it's automatically that the reference to that folder has been changed. Um, you know, let's just go ahead and keep links, uh, the frequently asked questions, in the contact page. Okay, so one of the mistakes that students often make is when they're trying to change pictures. The only thing that you should do with this master template is uh, changing the left, the bottom, and the title. Don't add pictures uh, to this. Don't don't type anything else on the on this page. Um, just kind of consider this off limits for right now. So you should go to your default page, um, and we want to change this picture. But first, we want to add a directory that we can keep our pictures. So what I did is I went on Google. I typed in, uh, uh, you know, junk. I went to images, and then I was able to kind of sort through uh, the pictures and, and save the ones that I like by saying uh, save image as. Um, Okay, so I've already done that. I saved some of these pictures here in my uh, directory. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to copy and paste these, or just kind of, you know, drag and drop within the directory itself. So then you can see them here. The reason why we're doing this is we want to we want to keep everything separate, and we want to keep all this uh, information uh, within our our web page itself, but within separate directories. And so this uh, directory here is kind of like the uh, the place where I have all the pictures, and I, I don't like spreading this out. I like having kind of a nice and clean directory uh, uh, space. Okay, so 
I can either drag and drop it over, or I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to say Browse, um, Picks, and I'm going to choose Pick 3. We want to type in something here. Um, I'm going to just call it Junk. You might want to give it a better description. Okay. So, now notice when you go... Okay, now I'm going to save this. Yep. I go back to the master template. Okay, it's not there. Remember, we're keeping our, our, our pictures within the default directory. Okay, also what we want to do, we want to create a new um, a folder for our database that we're going to copy and paste here. Database. Okay, I have it over here, and this is the access database that came with the project, and boom, you can see it there. Okay, something else I forgot to do is we, we want another uh, link, and it should be birthdays. And later on in the project, y you will see why. Um, so I'm going to call news, I'm going to change this to birthday. I'm going to change this news also at the bottom birthdays or birthday I think I called it okay and this uh, the reference uh, uh, directory is um, news so I'm just gonna go over here I'm gonna first save everything and then I'm gonna go and I'm going to change that directory name to birthday we want it to be descriptive of the link okay and then it's it's changed here automatically, and it will change here at the at, it will change this one also. Okay, so let's go to the default page, and let's see how this looks. So we can choose uh, the different um, uh, browsers where we can explore, that uh, we can um, take a look at our project. Okay. So everything looks fine. When we click on the links, the links work. So things look things look great. However, we're going to go back and we're going to make changes here to the contact um, uh, calendar. We probably don't need that anymore. So we should actually just delete calendar at the top and the bottom. So let's do that right now. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to just hit delete. At the bottom, it's a little bit more um, picky. I'm going to kind of select and just delete and then save everything. Okay, so in the next um, next video, I'm going to show how to uh, connect the database to the um, to the project or to the 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 um, correct link thanks